Soft robots are composed of compliant materials such as silicone, rubber, or elastomers, which allows them to conform to surfaces and objects while maintaining a level of physical robustness unavailable to their rigid counterparts. They have been proposed for a variety of applications including healthcare, agriculture, and search and rescue. Several methodologies have been proposed to model soft robot controllers, broadly classified into two categories, model-based and data-driven. This works is focused on data-driven approach, and we introduce a novel framework which addresses the limitations of existing data-driven methods. This work introduces a novel approach for modeling continuous forward kinematic models of soft continuum robots by employing augmented neural ODE a cutting-edge family of deep neural network models. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first application of augmented neural ODE in modeling soft continuum robots. Additionally, we design and implement a fully parallel model predictive path integral based controller running on a GPU, which efficiently manages a non-convex cost function. We assume that the robot can be modeled using a set of nonlinear differential equations. We discretize this model and reformulate it as a boundary value problem. Assuming F theta is known, the solution can be approximated using standard numerical ODE solvers. However, if F theta is inaccurate or not known, the error in estimating the boundary values can be calculated and be used as a loss function to train a neural network. A set of experiments using a real and novel extensible soft robot has been conducted to evaluate the performance of the proposed method. In the first experiment, Nine various static targets are defined across the workspace and the robot is expected to reach them with the minimum amount of position error. Steady state error, standard deviation and settling time are measured and presented in the table. In the next experiment, the robot is set to follow several trajectories. The root mean squared error and standard deviation of error across five trials are calculated and presented in the table. In this task, the robot is used in unilateral teleoperation mode. The designed controller is used to follow targets defined by an operator using a keyboard. The task consists of two subtasks, opening the box and picking and placing the test tubes into the rack. Finally, we conduct an ablation study to thoroughly compare the performance of the proposed forward kinematics model with feed-forward neural network and recurrent neural network-based models in four distinct scenarios. We assess the performance of the models in open-loop and closed-loop trajectory tracking scenarios for both unseen-before and seen-before scenarios, providing a comprehensive analysis of their strengths and limitations. The results showed that the proposed method outperformed alternative approaches significantly in unseen-before scenarios and performed slightly better in seen-before scenarios. Thanks for watching.